we are going into the cistern. Look at this. As you see us heading down, this may have been the Canaanite uh, era. It may have been the Egyptian era. We don't know for sure. It is ancient. Solomon may have expanded on this. Ahab may have expanded on it. But however it goes, there was a well outside over that lip out there but it was too susceptible to sieges and so one civilization an organized government according to dr hudson had gone through here and had and we're heading on down see see how we're walking from this area look at the digging went down there and it gave you an entrance into a secret uh, uh, doorways and tunnels to get that water so they could go in and out and take care of it what we want to do is just to give you the magnitude of it we're going to walk down ethan's behind me here and then we have art it's in front of us we're going to walk down here and just keep going and let you take a look at the depth of it so you get the idea of the magnificence we are in megiddo as you might remember and we are heading down into the area that is the cistern uh, down here ethan, yeah i was gonna say now as we go down ethan said you know we ought to show you when we're going down and take a look at this here as we're going on around and taking a look at where we are. We're still going down, still going down here and uh, heading down deeper. It's such a, uh, a fantastic thing. They made it so it's accessible for us to be able to go down in here. And now, Ethan, this, this will, the light will pick up good enough in here, you think, uh, as we go down? Great, great. And so as we're going down, you'll see the undressed stones that are taking these things. We're gonna go way down here, Ethan and I are gonna just get a rock from down here, the oldest civilization. We can't we're gonna bring it back to the classroom. So, if you are joining us, the, we are the classroom travelers, and we are teaching the various lessons here uh, in our uh, program as we're going through the Holy Land. We are in Megiddo, once again. This is totally man-made. This entire place that we're walking on is totally man-made through the years. Uh, the, uh, it is just absolutely fantastic when you see the work over 25, could be 25 civilizations. And uh, I'm going to lean over here without dropping this thing and give you an idea as we go down. All of this was dug down. Each of these layers were picked out by hand. I'm rubbing my hand across the work of a workman from thousands of years back. Everything, it just amazes you when you think about this, how this was done. We're continuing on down and we're all being extra careful uh, because of this. And you can already feel right at this level, you can feel it getting cool. Now up there, I would say, would somebody say it was at least 90 yeah. up there, in, you know, and in, in all, and as we're going down here right it's now, oh, it's getting very comfortable. Now I'm gonna look up, you're gonna see, and we're not even anywhere near to the bottom yet, but you're getting an idea of how far down they dug all these civilizations and such uh, here. Heading on down. This is day two of our travels. Yesterday we were in Caesarea Maritima and today we're at Megiddo. We will end up at Haifa later on. I think one of the amazing things when we were above was the intense heat. And that could be devastating in time of siege. That could be devastating at any time. And it's also odd to think that right down below uh, Har Megiddo, or Tel Megiddo, as you might say, is this beautiful, verdant, uh, lush valley, Jezreel Valley, which was what you fought for. But up on top of this thing, it is just like sitting on top of a sand block in an intense heat with a heat lamp over you. And no. it's still moving How down. How did they get down here without stairs? You know, that is a question for Dr. Hudson or for one of our students to try to find out. Lowered down by ropes, I think, because he did say, you know, they kept cutting down here. I wonder if there may have been some stairways, but they're not evident in the walls. But you have a very good question. We'll try to find out. We're still heading down. Thank you for that light. We're going, we're hanging on because the steps do get a bit steep here. Now, we are going down here, and you know something? It's kind of odd to be able to find a stray stone here because everything is cut. We don't have any more building 
But again, this, this is not natural stone. This has been cut out from all these civilizations of foundations and packing and such. So we're heading through here. We are on the 2018 excursion through the Holy Land. Every late September, October, we go on the trip and we're learning so much. Even in the second time, Ethan and I are veterans. We went last year with Dr. Hudson and we have a grasp in the first time. We like to say it was like drinking out of a fire hose the first time. Now that we're seeing more, we're gaining more of an understanding of things. Yeah, look at this. I don't know if I can reach down there that far. Let me take a look. You think we're going to reach down there and grab, get, get two, two of them there if you could. All right, I appreciate that, man. Okay, now I want to show you this right here. I've got two rocks. And you've got one over chipped over here from that. We'll show them when we get up to the light here. Thank you very much, Ethan. And uh, how many laborers who did this by forced labor, as it said in First Kings under Solomon, who did this as a volunteer, who were soldiers? We, 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 we don't know. We really don't know. sign up there giving us directions and you'll see now down here uh, it, I don't know if the camera is going to show it clearly enough but that is it is wet it's muddy the the rock that I'm holding is moist on here was well, you know as a matter of fact that I look there, there is water here I don't know yeah, if we can cool. let me see it and we've got some water coming out here from a spring that's outside and if we have this right we will show you the spring location on the way up. So we've got a pretty steep ascent up here. Turning back around. Now Art just about fell and I see, thank you Art, because I uh, would have gone over that too. There's where we went down through here. This tunnel is involved with all of this. And we're now, now watch that first step there, uh, Ethan. Everything. When you come on this trip, we eat good, but I tell you what, we earn our calories too. Wouldn't you agree, Wanda? We, we, take, <laughs> we ate real good, oh, fresh, fresh food, but I think, you know, we can actually take a, 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 a nice, guiltless meal knowing that we're earning, because this is steep going up here. Going back, civilizations and civilizations. How? Take a look at Ethan coming up here, how far down we went. Oh, this is a good calf workout. All of that built on foundation upon foundation as we go up through here. Heading on up. And we're coming up. Out of the light, we can feel the temperature starting to rise once again. And here we go. We're up, and the heat just hit us. And there is your entrance. The digging down. There's Ethan. Here is our exit out here. Had a wind you a little bit. Sky's gorgeous blue though. Beautiful dry weather. And we come out here. And I believe this will finish our tour at Megiddo. And we want to thank you for watching this part of our classroom traveler series. And we will talk with you as we move on. I think later on today will be Haifa. Um, dinner tonight's a surprise. I'm, I'm trying to remember where we're going, but we will uh, keep you informed. All right. Take care.